In the midst of their ongoing spat with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, one analyst thinks the Prince and Princess of Wales are attempting to maintain a united front when out and about with the Sussexes. According to reports, the Prince and Princess of Wales have devised a new tactic to avoid a public rift with Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. The royal couple, who are clearly beloved in the UK, wish to protect their standing and keep any unpleasant developments involving the Sussexes hidden, according to one public relations expert. William and Kate are employing a strategy that will keep them in the public eye, while also helping to keep them in a positive light. Since Harry and Meghan retired as senior royals in 2020, the two couples have been embroiled in a public dispute. According to public relations specialist Sophie Atwood, the couple's strategy includes no public encounters with the couple not even a mention. While the royal family's approach to the Sussexes may appear enigmatic at times it aligns with the er overarching press strategy of preserving the institution maintaining a unified image respecting privacy controlling the narrative focusing on duties adapting to media dynamics and maintaining the institution she added. In a world where public perception is every Everything these considerations highlight the meticulous planning that goes into their public relations decisions. By limiting public interactions and debates about the Sussexes, it's evident that they want to avoid public rifts and conflicts that could harm the monarchy's overall image. Ms. Atwood also stated that William and Kate avoid mentioning Meghan and Harry in public. Last month, the pair made no mention of Harry's Invictus Games, which were held in Germany. Instead, Kate and William used the time between the games to work on their own projects after their summer vacation. One analyst thinks there is no way back in terms of reconciliation between the two brothers. In an earlier interview with The Sun's fabulous magazine royal analyst and journalist Jenny Bond P. predicted that Harry's malicious comments would hurt so deeply William. There is no way back for the brothers, she added. I simply don't see it. Because of their entrenched attitudes and the fact that Harry has visited the UK without either of them as far as we know lifting a finger to phone text or meet up I don't see them patching thin GS up anytime soon. William is so deeply hurt that I believe he just blanks Harry out most of the time. He's gone on with his life and I suppose Harry has as well. Harry and Meghan have decided to step. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have apparently reconnected with one royal couple ostensibly in a bid to mend fences with the royal family. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are said to have begun reconnecting with two senior royal family members in an effort to mend the lingering schism. The pair, who now reside in the United States, appear to have forged a close bond with the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh, following a rocky relationship with other members of the firm since they stood down as senior royals. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex presently reside in California with their two children, having retired from royal duties in 2020. Prince Edward and his wife Sophie have apparently become close to the Duke's nephew. Edward and Sophie are reported to have grown in popularity in recent months particularly following the King's accession to the throne last year. According to royal scholar Richard Fitzwilliams, the two couples have never been close. The relationships between the couples were not previously close, he told Express.co.uk. According to Giles Brandreth, the late Queen hoped that Meghan and Sophie would form some sort of be beyond that would help her adjust to being a member of the royal family, but this was not successful. Neither was born a royal, and both have faced press persecution, particularly Meghan. Both had desires to blend being royal with other interests after joining the royal family and discovered it was possible. He continued, The Sussexes' departure and Andrew's disgrace has left the royal family with only four working members under 70 which has placed extra pressures on Edward and Sophie. Despite the ongoing royal feuds, the expert stated that there is no proof that the Sussexes had any disagreements with Edward and Sophie. There has been no evidence that Harry and Meghan and Edward and Sophie have specifically fallen out, Mr. Fitzwilliams said. If the Sussexes make contact with them, unlike Princess Eugenie, they have genuine power. Who knows what will happen? Mark Boardman, an entertainment analyst, 
had stated that the couple's reconnection could serve as a gateway back into the royal household. Meghan and Harry have reconnected with Sophie and Edward, and this renewed connection may serve as Tierre gateway back into the royal household, he told OK. Despite a significant age gap, both couples have faced significant public scrutiny over the years. Their recent interactions during the Invictus Games demonstrate the ongoing bond between Harry and Sophie who has consistently been a confidant.